This is your CAN seam micrometer. You'll use it to measure your first operation seam thickness and your second operation seam thickness. How your CAN seam micrometer works is your inner barrel is divided up into 25 thousandths. Each little small tick is 25 thousandths and where the one is that would be 100 thousandths of an inch. The outer barrel, if you notice, one full rotation right to 24 will give you 25. If you notice right underneath the zero on the inner barrel, you'll see that first line which indicates you're at 25 thousandths. So that being said, if you see one tick and you pass it and land on 15, you'd be at 40 thousandths. In this case, we use ball cans and ball specifies first operation seam thickness to be 76 thousandths plus or minus 2 thousandths. Here we have a first operation seamed can. We'll grab our micrometer. Notice that the can seam micrometer, when it's sitting perfectly on the can, sits at a slight angle because the bevel on the inside of the can is not a perfect 90. Rotate the outer barrel of the can seam micrometer till you just touch the material and it sits on the can nicely. Be sure not to over tighten as you'll get an improper reading. Be sure to measure the can in four separate locations. My first location I am reading 75 thousandths. As you can see there are three ticks showing which indicates 75 thou plus I just passed to about one thou. So you add the one thou to the 75 which makes 76 thou. Go to your next location and repeat the steps. There I am showing about 76 thou next location same thing about 77,000 and 77 and a half thousand take the average of your four measured locations and if they fall into your can manufacturer specs then you're good to go to the next step once you have done your first operation seam thickness, you can now move on to your final seam width measurement. Measure your can the exact same way you did in your first operation seam thickness by just attaching it at the right angle and the same pressure and mark down your measurement. If you notice in this first location, we have one tick showing which indicates 25 thousandths plus the 20 on the outer barrel which shows if you add them. 45 thousandths. Move to your second location. We have 25 thousandths plus 21 which indicates 46. Third location shows 45. Fourth location shows 46. If you take the average of your four locations, Ball specifies operation two seam thickness to be 44 plus or minus two thousandths. These are your veneer calipers. You'll use these to measure your can seam height, your body hook, and your cover hook. This works a lot more simpler than the can seam micrometer, as you will never go past 100 thousandths, and whatever the needle points to, add your ticks, and that's your number. Here we have our final seamed can. We'll take our veneer calipers, making sure that we're always parallel with the can, and we're not on an awkward twist to get an improper reading. Same as OP1 and OP2, you want to measure in four different spots. So there, we're at 99 thousandths, 98 thousandths of an inch, 99, and 98. Again, this is a ball can. Ball asks for a 98 plus or minus 2,000 specification. If you fall in next, then you can continue to the teardown.
Once you have torn your can down, you're left with your body hook and your cover hook. You'll need to grab your vernier calipers again, grab your can, and do the exact same thing you did with your final can seam height. Make sure to be parallel with the can, not twisted or crooked in any way. You'll want to grab the body hook. Rotate your dial in till it likes to sit down, and there we're showing a reading of 67. Again, this is a ball can. Ball specifies the body hook to be 65 plus or minus 5 thousandths. Measure in four locations. There's 65, 66, 66. Then you can move into your cover hook. Ball specifies the cover hook to be a minimum of 60 plus or minus 5 thousandths. Here you'll have to be very careful to make sure you're grabbing the cover hook, being square on there and getting a good reading. There we're showing 64. Again, measure in a few places and take the average. Can't get it. There we're showing 65. There we're showing 64. And 65. Once all these measurements have been found to be in spec, you can now go on and can.